stuck in my hair. <sighs> ah. Dollar Tree clip. Urgh. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back with another Dollar Tree haul. So I really went in for just a couple of things. I needed gift cards, why? Because it is the queen of Dollar Tree's birthday on a Friday, June of the 1st. Uh, Nicole Burgess turns the lovely 35. And so I wanted to get her a gift card. So I got her a gift card to the DT. Where else would you get Nicole a gift card for? And then this one is you guys for the winner of the giveaway that we're going to draw at the end of this video. I can't even draw it at this moment because I'm filming this before the giveaway is actually over. So we'll have to come back at the end and draw the winner live. But um, anyways, this is going in the giveaway. And I have a couple of extra things that I picked up that I'm spontaneously throwing in there. Why? Because I'm just good like that. Okay, so I wanted to do the gift cards and then I wanted to do my onion rolls. I needed them for my Arby sandwiches and so I went in for these and then <laughs> I'm not going to show you the floor. It may be a while but so and let me loose in the big Dollar Tree. And I was looking for Vanessa's lemon plates. And then all of this happened. All right, so I kind of separated stuff to make this easier because I don't want this to be a super long video. That's really funny because nothing I actually try to do short happens in that amount of time, but we're going to try anyways. So let me show you a couple of the like really cool things I picked up that I want. I can honestly say that I crossed so many wish list items off of my list that I really don't need to go back to the Dollar Tree for a while. I do have some Dollar Tree, you know, plans to go and walk through like the big one and stuff in a couple of weeks, but unless I see anything that's absolutely fantabulous and amazing or a wish list item that I'm forgetting that I wanted, I really think that I've crossed a lot. Oh, I do want those Dove. I never see the Dove. I never even saw the old Dove lotions, not in any store ever. So those are really the only things I really wanted that I haven't been able to find. So let me show you guys. See, enough rambling. I said like I wanted to do this short, right? All right. So I found the feather plate. You guys have probably seen this like forever ago because it's been around that long. But I'm really trying to simplify my bathroom and stuff. And I just bought a jewelry stand from Amazon. Really awesome jewelry stand and I want to kind of put this there for any extra pieces or whatever I'll pop a picture up so that you understand what I'm saying so if I try to explain it we'll be here till tomorrow so I was happy to find the leaf but then it was even happier to find the end sign. I didn't see any of the animals. I was hoping to find one of the elephants or one of those ones that they have. They had none of the animal ones, but they did have this and the at symbol, which I almost bought that because I thought about I could do, use that like fun in a video or something like, I don't know, for goofy purposes, that may be something for a buck I'll pick up again along the way. But I was just super happy to score one of these. If you guys remember, like when I used to sit over there, you could see my shelf above my bed and we had the K and the D and it's all our wedding memorabilia up there. So I thought the end sign would just make a sweet addition to that. So I did pick that guy up. And then I picked up this. This is not what I was looking for, but it's plastic, so maybe that's safer for travel anyways, but uh, Vanessa and I have a box swap coming up. I've already filmed it, and it was really sad because some of the things that she sent were broken, and she was really sad about it, and she sent these matching goblets that looked like this, stemless wine glasses, but this is plastic, um, but hers were glass and they had a silicone sleeve 
and one of them was had like palm trees cut out and the other one was pink and it had flamingos cut out and it, she just put a little note that she couldn't wait for us to have a cocktail and I thought that was the cutest thing ever and one of the cups was broken so my intention was to go and find a cup I've already peeled the sleeve I got a little cut but it's all good peeling the sleeve off the broken glass I just want to put it on another one um so I got this because I couldn't find anything else. If I find another one beforehand, then I'll pick it up. But for now, I just thought that this regular plastic glass would do the job. So I got that. And then for candles, I think these are the only two that I picked up. These are not for me. I mentioned that my best friend is closing on his house this week and I'm like putting together like a basket of goodies for him. He was with me when I was at the Dollar Tree and it made him go through the candles and he like, he was being a snob, candle snob and he was like, I like the Bath and Body Works ones. I already picked him up one of those too, but he really didn't feel like he liked too many of the ones that I picked for him. I never would have picked these. So he picked the rhubarb crumble by Old Williamsburg. This one's super old. It's been around forever, but that's the one he said smelled good to him. So I got that for him. I, I don't like that one at all. And then he's all about like seaside and all of that. He's a water guy. So he picked the seaside ocean mist which I actually think would look really good in my room with my whole anchor theme. And this one smells like clean for the bathroom. This one, this rhubarb one, I don't think smells good at all. But like I said, it wasn't for me. So that was for him. And then on a scent thing, maybe we'll do scents. Want to do scents? Okay. So I found these scent sticks. I've not seen these. I don't even know if I've seen anybody haul these ones. Um, and these are in the Wildberry. There's four in here. I really like the scent sticks from there. I actually think they really do work. They don't work as well in the air conditioning season the way that they do in the heat because like the heat really like makes the scent come out. But uh, I was on the hunt for the Glade ones. That's I guess another wish list item because I did not find the Glade ones but I did um, see these and I liked that one so I got that guy to try. So here are the other scent things that I picked up. I actually saw Madison show these first in her like shop with me and then I saw, or her vlog, and then I saw Vanessa in her shop with me get it. But these are like those little ones that you put on the wall and you load the can into it. It doesn't automatically go off, you have to push it, but it comes with the battery and I thought that was really neat that it says it's comparable to the Glade one and I think that would just be good for the bathroom up here because my husband can absolutely do a number on the bathroom so I thought that would be good and one for the guest um, bathroom downstairs and then same thing with these um, for like our purse or for downstairs but they have the Poobie Guns. I feel like I've maybe seen people haul these before but I've never seen them myself at the Dollar Tree so this scent is a fresh citrus and then this scent is lavender vanilla and then I don't think I told you guys that this one was tropical sunrise but I don't know I was on like a scent thing and I had not seen any of these things myself so I picked up all of these guys. So I went a little notebook crazy. Uh, I actually noticed when I was preparing for this giveaway that my notebook stash had really depleted. I gave a lot out as gifts and stuff as Christmas time, like to teachers and fillers and all of that. And I was really surprised that like I depleted myself that low. So when I saw all the new ones, I like picked a bunch up because I'm gonna throw one in this giveaway because I feel like every giveaway has to have one of these notepads and I didn't have one. And I really wanna throw them in my gift stash because it's they're good to have so this one I think I'm going to keep for myself though because this one says espress yourself and I just love the coffee and I love that it's hardcover like that to me was awesome it's more like journal style but definitely a notebook for the purse or something because this is not going to get destroyed as it say how many sheets 60 sheets so that's good and then these are all the new notebooks that are out is this one a new one no um, but this one says hashtag goals and it has like the gold foil and then this one says adulting with the gold foil 
And then this one says, do not forget, which I thought was super cute. And then the other ones that I picked up says a one in a melon. I think that is so cute with the little flip up and flip down and look at the pretty pages like watermelon with the green up top and the pink. I love that. So I picked that guy up and then this is a magnetic and it has a cherry up there with the cherry pies at the bottom but I feel like cherry pie is very like summer feeling. So I got those ones and then I also got this guy. I don't know if you remember me saying in my last Dollar Tree that I picked up two of the Thomas ones and I had to return one. So this is the Puppy Dog Pals one that I was talking about. Um, my daughter is absolutely obsessed. I was actually on all morning because Maya's birthday is in a couple of weeks. And I was trying to find Puppy Dog Pal like plateware and all that stuff. And I'm having a little bit of a struggle because this is so new. That's why I was so shocked to see this like in a play pack already because the show is really new. She likes that and Vampirina and both of them are brand new shows that I'm having a little trouble finding the plateware for but wish me luck for now but I know she will love this. Guys, I'm getting a little too old to be sitting on the floor, I'm just saying. Uh, all right, I wanna dive into some food because I have some like really crazy food items. So a bunch more bread um, other than those onion rolls. So I picked up this. It says that it's, I love the cobblestone. The cobblestone is my favorite score of bread at the Dollar Tree because this is, I always mean to look to see if it says how much it is on here, like at the store, but you guys, this is like insanely expensive, three, four dollars, even at Walmart, and their stuff is amazing. So when I can get it at the Dollar Tree, and this is cold because I bought this stuff a couple of days ago, so I have it already in the freezer because I freeze my bread. So I just think that's amazing, and uh, this is, like I said, the Brooklyn Rye, which really makes me feel like home. I think I'm gonna do like pastrami sandwiches or something with that. And then, a lot of people talk about this million dollar bread and I've never seen it. This is supposed to be the million dollar white bread. So I figured we'd give it a try. Dara really loves white bread. I would prefer us to have wheat, but I usually buy white every once in a while because I don't want to completely deprive him of like a flavor of bread he would prefer. So I did that and then I got just the white sub rolls. Just These are perfect for Philly cheesesteak sandwiches, sausage and peppers, something like that. So I picked those up for bread. And then you guys, I never buy this much food from the Dollar Tree. But there was like really good deals on food. So I did buy just one box of pasta. I know sometimes these can go on sale or I can even coupon for these and get it less than a dollar. But I needed elbows for an upcoming recipe. And for a buck i figured i would be able to show you guys that you guys can get barilla non-gmo like this is one of my favorite brands of pasta at the dollar tree for a buck so you don't need to wait for a sale these are way more than a dollar even the great value brand isn't always a dollar at walmart I, some of them are like a dollar 25 or more so i love the idea of the pasta and then I've never seen any kind of cookie mix. Everyone always hauls these crazy like Reese's, Pieces cup and all this. And I never get any of those. So when I saw this, I thought this looked different. And I have a feeling even though this does not expire until September, which we'll bake it long before then. I have a feeling this was a Christmas one because it says also try our other seasonal flavors on the back. And it shows like a thumbprint cookie and it shows a gingerbread, a snowball, and a cranberry white chip. So I'm sure these are probably winter flavors, but I, this is a chocolate crinkle is like an everyday flavor for me. That looks awesome and like it's good for rainy days. So I picked that up and then I finally found the pink salt. I thought that was really awesome. I've been looking for this. They've had the regular like salt and pepper shakers, but never the pink salt one. So I got this one. We go through a lot of pink salt in the house. So I got that. And then I went cereal crazy. Not like some people get go nuts 
I know Nicole said she got like cereal wasted, um, but we don't eat that much cereal in the house so for me to buy a box of every kind that i saw especially these kinds of cereals because i usually try not to buy these but for a buck you guys i could just not this was a like 11 or 12 dollars in cereal for three dollars like you just can't go wrong so this is the girl scouts caramel crunch this is a limited edition flavor but this is my favorite girl scout cookie so definitely no complaints with me there and then the Lucky Charms, it's like Jake is all about marshmallow cereal. So he loved the Lucky Charm cereal when I bought this for him. And I spent $4 on this box during St. Patrick's Day time for Jake to have this for the month of March. This does not expire until November, so he can eat it. But no one's going to see this on the shelf right now and buy it. So they send it to Dollar Tree, which is not, which is smart because it's better than not selling it. So I don't mind spending a buck on something that was $4. So I did that. And then here is the spring edition of the Reese's Puffs. So for a buck, again, I picked that guy up. So I know that, I know everyone's going to be happy with that. Uh, I did get these little Biscolata cookies. I've never seen these before. They up did like up did i don't even is that even a word uh, up did they redid their and updated their whole snack section there was even signs on the door that said check out our new snack zone and they had big signs hung from the ceiling that said snack zone over like all their new they had a lot of crazy like stuff like this okay so I always get the Rippets. You guys have probably seen me holy Rippets for Daryl. I get these all the time. But the only ones I could ever find that aren't sugar-free are either the Red Power or the Yellow Citrus or something. I don't know. I've never seen the purple for him, so uh, I didn't bring them all up. I got a bunch of these, and they're in the refrigerator downstairs. But uh, I got him this grape one, and then I got him um, a green one that said Tribute. It was like something for the troops or something like that. So I got him. Um, I got him that but anyways we were talking about these biscolata cookies I've never seen these before but it says that it's cookies filled with milk chocolate cream and it has like cute little like faces on it I don't know I thought it was cute just to like throw in the diaper bag for a cute little snack and then wait there's there's more food like seriously you guys I never buy this much food from the Dollar Tree but they had a bunch of these new like small chip bag things that i wanted to try and you cannot beat that for a dollar so i've been looking for my popcorn and chips and i guess i keep passing them by because they're not normally in this color bag they're normally purple and they had the blue cheddar bag and i walked over to see like oh what's this new mystery red bag and i was like oh my goodness these are my popcorners and that's why i haven't found them so they should have notified me that they were going to change their packaging but i did get um the kettle corn you know sweet and salty flavor of the popcorn so i got those and then i love these kind of a veggie chips the ones that have like the um beetroot and sweet potato and taro like i love all of that so you can't beat that for a buck these are like really expensive chips like higher end like even in walmart it's like four dollars for the bigger bag so i'm perfectly content with a buck so i got that guy and then i got two of these snack factory pretzel crisps um everybody all my girlfriends rave about them with the laughing cow cheese as a snack or whatever and so this one is is the garlic parmesan and then my girlfriend anchor amber here on youtube said the bacon habanero is amazing so i picked up these two guys so i found this like lying underneath all this stuff uh so this is another like cake mix thing it's just the betty crocker super moist butter recipe chocolate i never see this one there i always see the pillsbury milk chocolate and i don't happen to like that one so if i'm not going to make a fresh cake i'm just going to use a box mix this is the one that i prefer so i picked this guy up for a buck i like to keep that stuff stocked especially in the summertime uh like it's been raining here you guys for like two three weeks the kids get so bored so it's nice to be able to pull something out like to bake with them so uh all right so here are the 
cliff bars, you guys. I found cliff bars there. So I thought that was like a really good deal. Um, Jake's never tried this flavor before. This is crunchy peanut butter. It's made with, it's organic. It's an energy bar. Someone recently asked me and then I never got to answer them. I think it was Jennifer Lewis about why stress protein with Jake. Uh, but Jake has pituitary dwarfism, uh, which means that like his liver doesn't send out the enzymes to make him grow. So his endocrinologist puts him on nightly injections of human growth hormones. So it's really important for him to have a high caloric diet, but he also has ADHD and any medicine that he takes really curbs his appetite and he has a hard time getting through a meal until the medicine wears off so at school i try and pack him things that are a lot of high in protein this way at least if he eats it's something substantial than opposed to him filling whatever appetite he does have with like meaningless calories so i try and stress a lot of things like this so um i'm excited about this for a dollar and then these I was excited about because my husband listens to a radio show and they always talk about these things on the radio show and he asked me to find them for him and I had seen these before but then once he told me to look for them I couldn't find them so I was excited when I saw them. These are called Stroop Waffles. And they are a soft toasted waffle filled with caramel, cinnamon, and real bourbon vanilla. Warm it up on your cup. Oh. Do you see what they're doing there? I never noticed what that was till I just read that. That's There's the handle. That's a cup. And them like putting it on the rim of their cup to like make it warm. Hmm. Interesting. You guys, my hair is driving me crazy today. It is so hot in here. I have the fan on. I was trying to leave my hair down. I'm like all natural and it's like the wind's blowing it all over. It's like a hot mess. If I've been playing with my hair the whole time, I'm so sorry. It is like driving me bananas today. So I put it up, I'm done. Um, all right, so speaking of hair, perfect timing, right? Uh, this was like a wish list score for me, and I am so excited to find all of this stuff. Uh, everybody's been hauling this, and that when I first start seeing something, I never get it right away. I always have to wait to get it, so I was really surprised to see it, but this is the one and only speed style stuff, and I guess everyone's been saying, I didn't look it up myself, but everyone's been saying that on Walmart, um website that these are on there for almost 10 bucks so i think that's kind of crazy that they would be in the dollar tree but these are sulfate free quick blow dry shampoo and conditioner so i did pick that up for myself to try and then this is the dry text texturizing spray long lasting hold with a flexible finish. So I picked that up for myself. I'm anxious to try that, but I thought those were pretty good scores for three bucks. All right, so sticking along the line of more bathroom stuff, I did get some of the Assure Cotton Rounds. Every single person who uses makeup rounds, who goes to the Dollar Tree, who does YouTube polls says these are amazing. And I, I don't know. I always bought them from Walmart, Target, or whatever when I was in there. And who knew to check the Dollar Tree? I guess I should have checked the Dollar Tree. So I finally bought them, and I'm just about running out of mine. So I'm anxious to give these ones a try since everybody's raving about them. Um, again, like something I just saw, saw Pookie's View haul, and then here they are in mine. But this is the Dove Men's Care Soap, Bar Soap. This is extra fresh. It is a 3.17 ounce. This is a regular Unilever product. I normally don't like Dove, but this smells really fresh and clean. When I first showed Daryl, because he's a bar soap guy, he was like, you know I like my oil of Olay. And I was like, yes, I know, but smell this. And it just smells very fresh and manly and very clean. So... If he doesn't want to use it, I'm going to try and get Jake to use it because this is a good deal for a buck and I think that it smells like really good. And then I got nail glue for my one, two packs of nails. Is that all I got? Yes, I think I did. Only two packs of nails. So I got my nail glue. This is the nail glue that I use, Sassy and Cheek. 
I'm wearing fake nails right now with this nail glue. Love it. And these are the two nails that I picked up. So I picked up this one, which I love. And then, then there's this one. I think I might have seen these hauled as well, but I've never seen them in my store. So I just like the blues and the pinks. And I think that that's very like you know good for just going into this time of year so that was all the nail stuff i got and then i got fireworks now i don't know if your store sells fireworks because not every store i guess not every state is legal to sell fireworks like i'm almost positive no dollar tree uh in new york sells them they might sell like sparklers maybe or like the snaps or the pops or whatever but i highly doubt that they sell what I bought but Daryl loves these things all right so here are the firecrackers that Daryl likes and he says that they are so decent for a dollar so normally um for the last couple of years I've been getting him this one is the TNT Rev so I got him a couple of those but then this year they had some new ones which I know he's going to be anxious to try so this one says glow fuse tnt short stack so looks like that and then this one says rowdy and it has a monkey on it and so i got him a couple of those but he loves those for fourth of july and then i love these kind of sparklers you guys i've never seen my dollar tree have these kind they always have like the little tiny ones with the like metal stems which i hate them because they like they're like not bad for maybe mason and jake wouldn't mind them but i would never give that to maya but this is the way a morning glory one looks it has like the paper at the end and it's like the rainbow one and it has the wooden stick so it's way safer for the kids to hold so there's eight in each and i picked up two boxes i don't know if jake's gonna want to do sparklers this year but at least i know i picked up a couple but they had so many so i'm pretty sure that um i could get more if i needed them but i picked those up and i know hubs is going to be so happy so I also got these and I saw these hauled a couple of weeks ago. I needed them, I wanted them, and had to have them. So I got one for my cousin Ashlyn because she's obsessed with mermaids and one for myself. And it's just two different size mermaid nail clippers. I only saw this rose gold color, but that's okay. We both will love this. So pick these guys up and I love them. Almost done, you guys, kind of. So just a few home things. I picked up a couple of these racks. I never see them at my small Dollar Tree. So I picked them up when I was at the big one. I just reorganized the sink in my bathroom and I wanted to use these for underneath just to kind of give a few like of my stockpile a little bit more height so I could put maybe some of the smaller stuff underneath and the bigger stuff on top. So I got those and then this I got to put underneath where my Tupperware is. I always, I have this big bowl of miscellaneous lids and so I thought maybe I could like separate them by size in this little rack underneath just to cause a little bit more like ease in that cabinet because there's so much disarray there. Um, I already sent Vanessa's box, so now I'm saving all the stuff when she gets here. But this just says, enjoy the little things. It has a plain black frame, but if you look really closely, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's all wood grain in the back. And I know in the tiny home or the shop, whatever, I know that she's not going to have a whole lot of space. She's probably not going to do tons of decorating, but I thought this would be good for her like to put out because this saying is her thing. So in the 4th of July section, I just picked up two of these little pairs of socks, um, a one for Trey and one for Waylon when I send Nicole her box. Sorry, my phone is like blowing up over there. Uh, when I send her her box, I just wanted to put something small in for each of the kids. So I just picked up, uh, they're all about crabs over there. I mean, it's Louisiana. So they love their crabs. And so I just got this for them for the 4th of July. So I got those for those guys. And then, all right, I think I'm going to put these 
or use some of the command hooks from the Dollar Tree and put one on this door and one on my closet door. Normally, I never would have decorated the inside of my room, but since you guys were so unhappy with me, like, sitting over there and the fan was such a distraction with me sitting in that chair, since I've, like, moved over here trying to film, I feel like it's so plain behind me. It just looks so ridiculous. I'm so used to, like, the backdrop that I had of above my bed and all of that. So I just thought maybe I would put this one over there and this one over there. So I was looking for this one because anchors is like the theme of my bedroom. So this one is just like the fish with the anchor on it. Um, and then this one says sun, summer, sunshine, beach days, waves, and sand. So maybe I'll just switch these out again. I would never hang something like this in my room, but I don't know like I need something going on over there it's killing me so I picked those guys up and then I picked this up everybody's been hauling this too um which I thought was pretty neat but it's not a hanger it's a jewelry hanger so you could put like your earrings up there on the little dots and you can hang your necklaces all in there or bracelets or whatever so I thought that was really neat especially since I um am eliminated my jewelry box I just bought like a jewelry stand and like I said I bought use that little leaf tray for that so I feel like this will go all together you know what I'm saying all right and you gotta bribe the kids with something right while they're walking through the store to be good so Mason picked out one thing and he wanted these like water shooting like squeezy kind of guys or whatever but how could I get him one and not get the kids one? So, of course, he picks something out that I had to get for every one of them. So, um, Mason picked out the orange one. That's what he wanted. And Maya got the a purple guy. And we picked up Jake Green. So, now the three of them on a 100 degree day can go in the backyard and score each other and have a great old time. So, did that for them. I was happy to find the flying disc. I thought this was pretty neat. Uh, just like for a nighttime fun thing. It's a disc that you load the glow sticks in and then you throw it around. But what's awesome is that, you know, you get glow sticks this time, but you're really just paying for the holder because Dollar Tree sells replacement glow sticks for very cheap. I have an abundance of glow sticks for always picking them up from there. So I feel like when these die out, we could, as long as they don't destroy this shell, we could totally reuse this again. So I thought this was awesome. And Daryl loves playing Frisbee. So I think this is going to be exciting for him. I actually already showed this to him and he smiled. So I know he'll be happy to play with that. And then I found more of those Color Alive things. And I'm really excited because the kids were ecstatic over them. And so I'm going to put these in my gift closet and just give it to them. So I got Frozen for Maya, which was neat because I hadn't really found any more girl ones. Uh, I know there's a Barbie one and there's fairies. I haven't seen anybody haul the Barbie one. Uh, I did see both Madison and um, Vanessa see the fairies but i did not find that but i found skylanders which i thought was awesome i actually found two different skylanders i found the original ones that are like this and they also found one in the box with the 2.0 so the kids were like bonkers over the other one and they loved it and they set it all up and i found a, a different avengers one this is not like the one that we have before we had a 2.0 not a regular one so now we have each kind of avenger so i know the kids are going to be like over the moon about that and last but not least you guys one single container of play-doh but this was maya's choice for what she wanted walking through the store i don't even think she really loves to play with play-doh but this is what she picked up and she kept saying orange 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 through the whole store holding this thing of play-doh so whatever was going to keep her busy for mama to do all of this while i was picking up gift cards and bread whatever she wanted she was going to get.
All right, guys, I know you sat through that whole thing, and then now you want to see who the winner is of the giveaway. So, like I said, I cannot draw the winner right now because I am filming this two days before you're going to see it. So, I still have two more days. So, I'm going to come back. You probably won't see me, so I'm going to say bye now. But, y'all, I'll come back and show you my computer screen. We will draw, draw the winner through Gleam live, and then that'll be it. So, thank you guys again so much for watching. If you're new, hit that subscribe button I do Dollar Tree hauls every other week here roughly and we are going to Vanessa and I the largest Dollar Tree in all the United States and we're doing a shop with me and we're doing a haul and we have so much fun stuff coming up with that so make sure that you don't miss out on all of that and stay tuned to see the winner of my Dollar Tree giveaway okay guys so here we go we're gonna draw the winner i am so excited it said that there were 126 potential users that could win this giveaway and we're gonna hit the draw button and i am so excited to see someone that i know i love when that happens so yay cindy brown i am so excited for you you are so super supportive girl you are always commenting on everything and i really appreciate it so make sure to reach out to me i will email you but send me your address and i'll get this box and this gift card out to you guys thank you everyone for entering thank you so much to everyone i will see you guys in my next video bye guys